Hey y'all, this is Dr. Tiffany. I hope you're doing well. Today I wanted to talk about RSV because I've been getting a lot of questions about that and RSV is the third member of the triple threat team that is hammering, starting to hammer the U.S. right now. RSV stands for respiratory syncytial virus. Most people hadn't really heard of it except in conjunction with babies before now. But uh, it's actually a very, very common virus, and it actually leads to about 14,000 deaths in adults over the age of 65 in the U.S. every year. That's second uh, only to the flu and, well, COVID, uh, as far as, uh, so it's, it's basically about 60% uh, as dangerous as the flu, it turns out. Me it's also very dangerous in young babies, uh, babies under six years old, six months old, and kids less than two with chronic lung and heart disease, kids with immunocompromised or neuromuscular disorder, adults greater than 65 immunocompromised adults, or adults with chronic lung and heart disease. It can be dangerous if you have asthma, COPD, or congestive heart failure. So it's diagnosed using PCR tests and rapid antigen tests, just like COVID. Um, it's uh, a long illness. Uh, it lasts symptoms, 90% um, have symptoms for two weeks. 50% three weeks, and 10% four weeks. Usually the last uh, parts of that, the last two or three weeks is a cough only though. Um, it is most contagious starting until about three to eight days after symptoms start. We don't know if it spreads before that. So um, young babies and immunocompromised can be contagious for up to four weeks though. It's moderately airborne, it's droplet spread, but not really aerosolized. It's very good at spreading on surfaces, especially like hands and counters and stuff like that. Um, it's R0 is 3.0. So it's got about a three to seven day incubation period. So those are the hard facts. Um, the symptoms are fever, dry cough, sore throat, sneezing, headache, wheezing, and these range from mild to severe, and then there's also shortness of breath and, si and turning blue. Those are bad signs. Babies are the, the most sensitive sign. The one that happens first is they, they stop feeding like in, as much. Instead of uh, four ounces, they only take one ounce or half an ounce. They'll act like they're starving, but they'll stop real early. That's a lot more sensitive than just uh, waiting till they turn blue. The treatment is generally just humidified oxygen and nebulized saline, although sometimes ventilator support is needed. So um, there's going to be a vaccine coming out in one to two years, so hopefully we'll be putting an end to this. But this is a much bigger problem than people thought, and we're learning that to our distress this year. So those are the facts. I love you. Stay safe.